morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Nissan display. My name is Chad. We are so excited to have you here. We have so many cool and advanced things going on right here in the Nissan display. In just a moment, I'm going to be bringing up Nissan Global's head of design, Mr. Alfonso Albaisa. And he's going to be talking about all things innovation, design, Japanese hospitality, and of course, we'll be talking about this stunner right here behind me. This is our Aria concept, which, by the way, stole the show in Tokyo just a couple of months ago, and it's making its North American debut right here in Las Vegas. But before I bring up Alfonso, we do have a couple of things to cover, because so many activities that you're going to want to take part of right here today in the Nissan booth. First of all, the booth itself. It embodies omotenashi, or Japanese hospitality. From the subtle scent of bergamot and green tea to the traditional Japanese craftsmanship. Also, right over here, raise your hand if you've had the opportunity to go zero to 60 in just 2.8 seconds. Has anybody had the opportunity to do that? This lovely lady has. I love that. If you haven't had that opportunity, you can do that today with our Power Selfie Station. Our Formula E race car is here, and it delivers on that level of performance. Over here to my left, you can actually get some putting advice from our Pro Pilot golf ball. That's right. It's inspired by our ProPilot 2.0 technology. I highly advise you guys to check that out. I know I need help with my golf game. So even if you're not a golf fan, if you love cool technology, you gotta check it out while you're here. And who doesn't love ice cream? We have an EV-powered ice cream truck right here in the back, so make sure you give that a taste and a try while you're here. Quick shout out behind these beautiful faces right here to the best-selling electric vehicle of all time, the Nissan LEAF with over 450,000 units sold worldwide. It embodies Nissan Intelligent Mobility to a T. That's all about how Nissan envisions your driving experience, intelligent power, as well as how you're integrated to your car and to the world around you. Now, I think it's time to start talking about this ARIA concept. Raise your hand if you're ready to learn more about the ARIA concept. Pretty much everybody, right? I love it. But for that, we have to welcome to the stage the gentleman that has pretty much had his hand in everything you see here in the Nissan display, from delivery on our Formula E race car to the booth and the ARIA concept itself. Ladies and gentlemen, please warm welcome for Nissan Global's design head, Mr. Alfonso Albaisa. How are you, sir? Good, how are you, Chad? Fantastic. Hello, everybody. He, he, they're excited to see you, as am I. Yes. I think we should jump right into it. What do you think? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Behind us, we have a 100% electric vehicle. We're talking all-wheel drive, dual motor, the performance level is going to be very similar to that of our 370Z, and these guys know that that is no slouch in the performance department. You have poured your heart into this vehicle with the design. It has the pinnacle of our technology with ProPilot 2.0. Are we gonna see it at a Nissan dealership anytime soon, my friend? Well, I can't really give dates today or I don't have a job tomorrow, but um, <laughs> It's very, very close to the real car. I mean, one of the cues is usually a show car, everything is flush, no door handles, all of this. Actually, a little later when you come up on stage, you're gonna notice weather stripping and uh, real door handles. So it's a pretty strong hint of what's gonna be coming uh, very, very soon. Very, very soon, that's exciting. Two varies. Th yeah. that was, I noticed, two varies, I love it. Yeah. Well, you're an American of Cuban ancestry, yes. uh, living now in Japan, you're a man of the world, you've studied in Detroit, worked in London, I'm kinda jealous, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about cultural influences on your design work, specifically as it relates to omotenashi or Japanese hospitality? Yeah, um, thank you for the, the Detroit, and Brooklyn actually, also heads up <laughs> on my school, uh -huh. um, but um, yes, I'm. I'm very proud to be a Cuban-American, and I was raised in Miami, and uh, my father was an architect, so in very early point in my life, I was exposed to Japanese architecture. Um, but when I joined Nissan 32 years ago, um, you know, that's, I'm 55, so this is, you know, you more just than, gave away your age. Yeah, Nobody ever does that. More than, more than half my life, I have been raised by the Japanese and the Japanese cultures. And um, so, of course, that's a pretty big deal in my life. But the bigger deal was when our engineers brought to us about two and a half years ago what the future of our electrification was going to mean. 
and this magic carpet that when you see when the doors open, the floor is completely flat. And all the technology of ProPilot 2.0 and all the connectivity, mm -hmm. it inspired us to, to really restudy what it meant to be Japanese. Mm -hmm. And especially this high-tech side of Japan and also this very cool culture side of Japan. Right. So omotenashi, this sense of welcoming. But in technology terms, what it means is that the car is understanding the things that you want to do, and it reacts, and it predicts, and it helps you get through the day seamlessly. So this is omotenashi for us. That's amazing. Uh, let's turn to technology now. How does Nissan Intelligent Mobility mix with design? In a big way, because I, Nissan Intelligent Mobility has given us a, a blank canvas. So let's, let's take a look at the front for, oh, yeah, as, let's an do example, it. as an Absolutely. example. As it spins, can you talk a little bit about the color? Because this, it's absolutely amazing. This color blue, isn't it inspired by a comet? Yes, it's a cobalt, actually. It's okay. the element cobalt because we have inspired many things about this car related to the electrification and okay. creating conductivity. So that's the blue, which is the satin cobalt. Um, but here, in the, for a great example of how technology has helped shape a new face for Nissan is this tech mask that we call it. Of course, the reason it's here is because in this space, there are LIDARs, there are sonars, there is so much technical equipment that is helping the car see much more than any of us can see. And it really delivers this sense of you know everything and you can see everything. But as a designer, we became in, we fell in love with this technology purity. And we also started bringing in traditional Japanese craftsmanship, this Kamiko wood pattern that is behind the shield uh, to help connect technology and Japan and modernity and all of these things. So that's a big part. Even our logo has become digital, so we, we really have embraced this sense of Japan, this sense of the future, and this sense of technology. If we could turn the car a little bit more to the side, we can touch on another point. Absolutely. I'm noticing the copper accenting as yeah. well. I love how that plays off of this beautiful color blue. And like I mentioned before, the, the sense of cobalt and its connection to conductivity yes. is also with the copper. So you'll see copper in the wheel. And also we use this copper element, which of course is a key element of an electric motor, to help define this wonderful, sleek, and sporty silhouette of, of ARIA concept. So we were definitely kind of weaving in and out of technology and artistry and, and these expressions. Fantastic. In the past, you've talked specifically about how EV platforms give designers more flexibility. But isn't there also a risk that there will be too much EV design conformity? Uh, you spoke of the grillless front end and, uh, of course, screen-dominated instrument panels. Can you speak to that for a moment? Uh, some of the, you know, in, in life, when you get a new context for working and designing, uh, it changes you. So, first of all, you study deeply what is the journey that this technology is going to give us and the opportunities. So, the, this Japanese minimalism of the body side is directly linked to the need for aerodynamics and seamlessness. When you open the doors, there are no buttons and there's this completely open space. This is what was given to us by the engineers that with electrification and autonomous driving and connectivity, we're reducing our, the shackles of this physical element and it's, everything is becoming digital. And it, at the end, it was freeing. So yes, we had to learn, which is difficult, uh, but then we learned through this knowledge, it was completely freeing. I think we have time for one more question. Oh. Okay, here we go. We're here at CES, which obviously the C in CES stands for consumer. Where does the consumer fit in the future in terms of autonomous driving and artificial intelligence? Are consumers better off now and in the future than when you used to have to put in a key as far as the door and the ignition and of course shift the gears yourself? Where do you think we are, better now or in the future? Without question, the future is about freedom. I mean, the, the obstacles that we have become accustomed to are going to be shocking when they're gone. And for instance, you're in your house, you're thinking about what you want to do, and the car is already understanding what your day is going to be like. 
as you approach the car, the car already sees you and feels you and is starting to set up. When you get into the car, your music is on, it's already set up. It is already a part, it's the partner in your life. So in a normal, in today, you get into your car, you're putting your purse here, your keys, your wallet, you're stumbling, you're putting the Navi. You are dealing with obstacles that are going to be gone in the future. So without a question, it's freedom and it's cool. So the car is already thinking about me. That makes me feel special. It's directly linked for me to this sense of a motenashi where it's this sense of the car wanting to understand what your needs are, what your desires are, and, and the things you want to do. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about this technology. Thank you so much, Alfonso. You. I appreciate your time. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Mr. Alfonso Albaisa. Thank you. Thank you.